Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, we're back in the gym and I have a fun little videographer with us again too, and he's gonna record our workout and do a little Q&A. Um, I put a question box on my story. Ask y'all some questions. A lot of it is prep related. Some is just like lifestyle related, motivation related, all of the above. So we're gonna do a quick little full upper workout today. Um, so off season bulking full upper day and then answer some of y'all's questions. So let's get to it. Working set will probably go up to 25s. So this rep scheme, we're doing eight and 12. Um, so I'm gonna do two heavy sets, mechanical failure for both of them. And then but for our last set, we're gonna do 12, five, three. So we're gonna do toe failure 12, give herself like a five second break and then do five more, which is toe failure, a five second break and then three. So it's almost like giving it a little pause to go past failure almost in a way, but we're gonna have each other like kind of spot each other too. Okay, we're gonna answer our first question because I've gotten quite a lot of questions about injury, to be honest. Um, a couple asking like, have I been injured? And a couple asking how to deal with injury when you're working out and are like continuing to work out and while being injured. Um, I think it's very, very important, of course, to keep in mind, like the recovery is most important. I actually am like slightly injured right now, which is why I kind of wanted to touch on this question. But like, so I hurt myself really bad in, high school playing soccer and I slid my knee out like once really really bad and since then like once a year I'll slide my knee out and I just won't my knee will be like out of commission for like three or four weeks which is like I should check that out but I just don't feel like getting surgery on it so um I feel like what's really important is when you are going through periods where you're injured like letting your body rest is so freaking important like I have to take up take off basically my quads and only do movements that like don't hurt my leg for that two or three weeks. So injuries, I mean, with injury, recovery is so, so important. Um, I feel like personally, um, I don't see many crazy setbacks. Of course it matters on like the amount, or like how bad your injury was. Like if it was a breaking a bone or something like that. But for minor injuries where you can get back in a couple weeks, honestly, your body probably needed the rest. And usually my body like kind of goes back to normal after a week back on plan. Um, that first week back after being injured, like, dude, I'm so sore, but it's just like pushing your body, pushing it back, um, getting your weights back up to normal, but usually your body can kind of get back to the normal weights like you were before. Um, anyways, but to answer your question, yes, take the breaks. Your body needs it. Um, you're not going to see many crazy setbacks. Your body's going to get back to normal after a week or two, but let your body heal and let your body rest when dealing with injury. But yeah, I'm trying to let my body rest too. A lot of questions I was getting was about staying consistent. And I do want to like fine tune that a little bit. Um, but her question was how to stay consistent with eating mostly clean foods, which I think is a really great question, mainly when you're bulking or off season. I feel like I've tried to help hack the bulk so many fucking times. And you try to make the bulk easier by eating like foods that are just, you know, higher calorie um, and that aren't as clean. And when I tell you, you feel so much more energized. You feel so much more like less bloated. I mean, just like, I just feel so much cleaner when I do the bulk calories and easy to digest whole foods. So I feel like eating clean foods, it's almost at the beginning, forcing yourself and it's discipline. And then you start to feel how you feel in those sources. Um, and it makes it so much easier to stay consistent, obviously. But I think that first like two weeks, where you're switching from like eating kind of whatever you want to eating like clean foods while bulking, like your cravings are gonna be crazy, but it's really just about like forcing yourself in the discipline. Um, but I have gotten a lot of questions as well of just like how I stay consistent when there's not necessarily always a timeline. So I think most people don't freaking compete, you know? And like having a timeline where it's like, 
how long I should be bulking, how long I should be cutting, how do I stay consistent in the gym and eating healthy when I'm like, I'm not gonna step on stage. And I think that is, I get asked that a lot by clients. And I think forcing yourself to stay on a bulk and staying on a cut so, so hard. And that's why I feel like having a coach is so helpful even when you're not competing. Um, having someone like an outside accountability partner that is making you stick to it. Now your accountability, like a pound accountability partner doesn't need to be like your freaking coach. It can be a friend, someone else you meet in the gym. But I think sharing your goals, may it be on your social media or with your friends or with your family, makes a huge impact. Like, like me and Parso, when we first started our like bulking and cutting and like before we had coaches and we were seriously lifting, sharing our goals and like having somebody else keep us accountable to them to stay consistent to what we want for ourselves, so, so helpful. But sometimes like you've got to bulk sometimes for months. You're cutting for months. So staying consistent sometimes is not going to be up to your own willpower, you know? Um, it's easy to get lax and be inconsistent. And um, I think when you find yourself being lax on yourself, you need to sit down and rework your goals reshare your goals with your accountability partners, maybe hire a coach, somebody to keep you accountable directly. Um, but I tell my clients a lot, like even though they have that accountability, it's easy to want to fall off. Um, and I literally tell them, I'm like, go make a mid-year like vision board or go make like a actual Pinterest board or a, like a list of what you want to accomplish short term. I think people think so freaking long term. Like you think, what do I want to look like in three years, you know? Think about what do you want to look like in two months, three months. And I say go literally by chunks. Um, and it helps so much more with the consistency. So yeah, for the questions of cutting and bulking and consistency there, I think make shorter term goals. May it be strength face in the gym. Um, may it be like fat loss, gaining muscle mass, you know? And stop thinking like years down the line. Because there's so much work you can make and so much like progress you can make short term if you really put your head down and like put the fucking work in so um yeah <laughs> um next question i got asked um if there's any regrets i have in my kind of bodybuilding journey um, I will of course say first, like obviously everything happens for a reason and I wouldn't have changed anything that has happened. Um, I definitely think that like, it's hard to say like I wish I waited longer obviously to start competing because it's like my first show definitely told me that I, showed me that I wanted to compete. But I mean, I did a show in COVID. Half of my prep, we didn't have a gym. Like I had to work out at home. Um, and I don't think it impacted how I, place because obviously like everybody else at the show had the same struggles um just sometimes I wonder like if I would have enjoyed like bringing a better package and having like a gym and not having to run outside for my cardio and so I don't think I necessarily regret that but I do think a lot of whether or not I could have brought in better for my first show um it has taken me I feel like a lot longer to get the seriousness I wish I had my first season um like right now I'm so dedicated and I'm so all in and I just feel like because of COVID and lack of access for a gym and all that, I feel like I could have brought in better, you know, to my first show. So um, I definitely don't regret doing that show and it definitely showed me that like I had the dedication to continue, but I, you know, you always wish you brought better, mainly to your first season, um, but we've definitely brought in a lot better since then. So yeah, if you're thinking about competing, um, I definitely think like hire a coach as soon as possible and listen to their timeline. Um, I tell a lot of my clients, you know, the stage is always there and don't rush to get on stage. And if you feel like there's things that do come up in your life that are stopping you from bringing your freaking best, like don't feel like put it, pushing off your show or waiting to compete later is going to impact your journey, you know, because like you should want to bring and be proud of what you're bringing and want to bring your best. And I know when I stepped on stage, like I knew I could have brought in better, you know? And so instead of continuing my prep and doing a second show that first season, I went off season, put the muscle mass on in that off season that I wish I would have been able to bring my first show. So I um, had a quite a big first off season, but so I wouldn't say I regretted anything, but I definitely of course wish I kind of was as serious at the beginning as I am now.
pump cover doesn't come off ever anymore. The pump cover will come off when I'm 10% body fat. Where you at now? I don't know. I want to get a body scan. I feel like probably like 22. I'm 158 pounds. I'm 5'6". So. Okay, so we finished out the workout. We did some face pulls and then we did a, um, a superset with tricep pushdowns and curls. Honestly, like our, our full upper day is kind of catching up where we've missed out the rest of the week. So heavy shoulders, because my shoulders are really needing to grow. A little back volume, a little arms. Um, but yeah, I wanted to end the last question. I've been getting a lot of questions. I've talked about it a little bit in the vlog, just being like unsure what division I should sit in. Um, and the more I am off season, the more confused I get about the division I should be doing. Um, and so honestly, I love bikini. I love the posing. I love the shape. So I'll definitely be competing in bikini. Don't y'all worry about that. I love it. Um, the, pers the chance that I cross over into figure, I feel like gets less and less <laughs> every week. Um, I feel like as I lean out, my lats are getting smaller. You know what I mean? Like, and so I was talking about it, uh, like kind of at the beginning of the off season and I feel like I hold so much body fat in my lats. So the closer I'm getting to prep, the more I'm thinking I'm not going to be doing figure. I love figure. I just don't think I'm quite big enough and I don't have the shape for it quite yet. So sorry to disappoint y'all. Um, we'll see, you know. I think I'm not big enough for figure, whether or not like I'm big enough for wellness. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm kind of relying it all on what I look like as I lean out um, because I am giving my workouts kind of all I've got right now. Um, so I think we're sticking with bikini for another season. I love bikini. Um, bikini girls keep getting bigger and bigger. And I know y'all want to see me step on stage in another division. Um, but I think 2023 season is going to be bikini. So um, sorry for the clickbait of this video. <laughs> this is not uh, apologize, but not apologizing. But um, yeah, stick in bikini, eventually we'll be stepping on stage figure, just probably won't be this season. So I want this season, I want to give it one more season basically. Hear me out, I want to give it one more season where I'm giving it my fucking all in this division and like really chasing my pro card, you know? Last season, even I knew like, I didn't really have the shape and the size quite yet and the proportions to be pro in bikini and I think I'm gonna give it my fucking all and if that is not enough for bikini, then we'll take some years off and we'll grow into another division, you know? But I wanna make sure I really did give it my all for this division before I start reaching for a bigger division when I'm not even like, in my mind, I'm barely big enough for the division I am now. So um, being patient, enjoying the process. Um, I'm still gonna pose as if I'm every single fucking division for funsies, but, um, but yeah. Excited for the season to start, the countdown is on. Um, still deciding on some last minute shows, but um, there's two shows that I said a couple, like two videos ago, still decided, but we might add in one more show. So prep might start obviously sooner than we think, um, but TBD. So um, hopefully next video I'll have all decided. I'll tell you shows, countdown, um, and we'll talk more about that. But see you next video. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.